Once you hear the keyword, put it into our website, 979ESPN.com, and you can win $1,000. The Rob Dibble Show returns right hey, freaking don't now. Call dibs. Stop! You can't get all willy nilly with dibs! Dibs is the only thing that holds society together! First Dibs Question Day sponsored by Tire Depot. Winter is lurking, although today it's a little bit warmer, but it's still raining. So you could still gear up for winter today with new Cooper Tires from Tire Depot. Tire Depot is your Cooper Tire headquarters. They carry other leading brands as well, so you can choose from anything you want. Tire Depot, just off Route 6 in Bristol, online at TireDepotCT.com. Beautiful question. Friday, the 13th, people. What are some of your favorite superstitions? I don't like black cats. I'm still what? a black cat guy. Like it's not his fault. I understand that. Uh, my mother has a black cat. Uh, we had a black cat that scratched me. His name was Pepsi. I did not. Stinking I thing. I will literally if if a black still cat if it dry if it runs across to where I'm about to drive, you know, because in my world the rule is you cross, then you go back, and then you go back. So that's your superstition. So if so I, that just righted the world. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exit out, exit out, exit out three times, drive over it, drive back, and then you can start your life again. You don't do that? Nobody else does that? Mm, I've never been taught that. It doesn't move. alter my they, path. They, they, black cats don't bug me. All right, here's another one that changes my path to this day, especially when I was walking around Hartford all the time when I was living downtown. Step on a crack, you break your mother's back. Don't do it. <sighs> you guys step on cracks? Your mom's hate uh, you. Have you seen the sidewalks? Right. See, <laughs> There's a lot so of them. <laughs> I didn't touch the foul line. That was. I was going to ask you that. Why? That was my superstition. That was one of them. Um, and What's going to happen? I don't know <laughs> what the world would blow up. But if I just got waxed out there on the mound and gave it up, I would make a point of Xing out the line. Ooh. That, with your that, foot? Yeah, with my foot. I sat there and I just... You know, messed up the line. Like, screw you, line. It's your fault. I always had to have, like, it, especially in, in college football, we always had designated people to roll up our sleeves. Like, I had my really? guy. That, that, oh, you mean oh, near shoulder pads? Yes. Okay. Like, you put your hand on top of the helmet of the person who's rolling it up, and then they do it okay. for you. And if my guy didn't do it, it, it you were would, screwed. Not only did it feel different, it, like you in the foul line, the world yep. would blow up. I, I can't. I can't. Kurt, what you got, Kurt? No real superstition. No. Oh, except for you didn't wear green in the pits with racing. What? Oh, because you might look like a green flag. No, it's just an old super superstition that you don't wear green in the pits. You don't eat peanuts. Why? What? It's a couple of weird little stories. Why don't you eat pe oh, peanuts? Because like if you're throwing the shell down, I mean that's dangerous, man. You're running out there trying to put gas in the car and get slip road. on it. Yeah. Well, that's not how it happened. But some guy just had bad luck after eating peanuts one time, and somebody and went. It's gotta be it. That was the thing on my high school basketball team. You couldn't bite your nails because one guy was biting his nails before a big game one time with this one coach that was there for years, and then saw me do it, and was like, "Dude, don't you know we don't bite our nails on this team?" I can't really? stop. I'm a habitual. Mm. I mean, I'm not disgusting too, but I, 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 it, it's it's a fine line for me between routine and superstition. Good point. Like, Good point. you know, to me, I didn't want you touching my glove. I don't want it anybody touching my stuff. It, right. It wasn't a superstition. <laughs> I just didn't want your bad luck rubbing off on oh, me nice. and my glove. Yeah. You know, and I still like people be like, you know, hey, you want to check out my glove or. I didn't touch people's bats. I didn't touch their gloves. I kind of respected like their because space. of superstition. Not a superstition. It's just I thought it was the right thing to do, you know. And I'll tell you what. I, I'm not going to tell you who it was, but after they tried on my glove in Montreal, I gave up my first big league home run. Wow. And again, it so to me that made it all like come, you know, to fruition. That listen, my superstition or routine was right. That dude was a home run giver upper. Touched my glove, wow. and then I go out there and I give up a home run. So Not it's his surprised. fault. Not, Absolutely. I'm with you on that. I'm a total Serrano man. Like, I need to have all my stuff. Hats for bats. Hats for bats. Maybe have some kind of uh, sacrificing a chicken seance of some sort before the big game. I would just dig the whole bucket of chicken myself. I don't have to sacrifice in the it. I'm going to sacrifice it down my mouth and over my chicken. like Wade Boggs. Exactly, Mr. Chicken. We gotta get him on. We haven't had him on in a way. He would definitely super. He had to eat chicken every day. Imagine eating. I can't. I love chicken, but I can't eat it every day. 
like a little steak, a little fish. There had to have been a game a where he went over that he had the chicken. And he's like, yeah. you know, what happened to your stupid chicken, Wade? I, I'm, I'm I sure know, there's an excuse. I know he can re- recall when that happened, too. Oh, that was uh, churches. It wasn't KFC like I like it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, our favorite segment of the week. That means we're going to pick a lot of games and oh, help yeah. you win a lot of money. Who you got? Coming up next.